Um, the secret stakes held by MPs in top UK firms. Mm. To translate in English, yeah, what's going on here is the MPs are buying shares in companies, which is a bit of a conflict of interest. And I think, I think it's fraud. Okay. Fraud, we're going with fraud. Oh, okay. you, you look at you straight out <laughs> with that strong take <laughs> straight away. This has really upset now, me. These are mostly what? Which party do these people? Well, the, the, the accusation. Just say are. it. Come on, Paul. The accusation here is that it's mainly Tories, but it's not mainly Tories it's actually. It's mainly. Tories. It, 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 well, it is mainly Tories okay. because they're the shrewdest investors, of course. Okay. However, a lot of this is quite um, within the boundaries of the rules that are set out. Yes. And that's what I want. One thing, sir. Just one thing I need to say here. Mm. A lot of Nigerian people, the government in Nigeria, get accused of fraud. And one of the illegal things you can't do in Nigeria is you cannot invest in your MPs. So what they're doing here is actually illegal in Nigeria. What, the MPs aren't allowed to invest in... Right. in... No, um, in companies are not allowed to... Oh, oh I see. You're not, MPs in Nigeria are not allowed to invest in companies. OK. Like they've done right, in so Britain.